Hi, I'm Laura Valentine. I work at City of Sydney Fire Station and I am studying for my qualified firefighter at the moment. I was living in Coffs Harbour and I was working in hospitality as a public relations officer and a bartender. But I went travelling after a year of working and I kind of figured out what I wanted to do when I came back from that and quit my job and applied for the fire. It was a big move because Coffs Harbour is a little town and you kind of need to move away to um, find yourself a bit and so it was exciting to move to Sydney but it was a big, big step just doing it by yourself. Um, I moved in with my nan at the start and it was pretty, pretty wild, pretty fun. <laughs> I didn't necessarily pick it as a, a first choice of a job. I got into uni and I declined that. Um, it was a media communications job. In the morning we, we start off and we basically check all our equipment that we need to. Um, whether you're driving or if you're on the back of the pump, you've got something to check. Um, we do that as a team, which is really good. We do drills most days. Yeah, in between all those, those drills and everything, we've got a lot of calls to go to. For me, it's really exciting to go to a call, any call. Um, the false alarms, when you know it's, it comes across as an automatic fire alarm, you go, oh, okay, it's just, it's just a false alarm, but then it could turn into anything. So you've always got to have that game face on and have that mindset that, you know, I could, could have to pull out all sorts of tricks here. Like, you just got to be ready for anything. Um, in here, it's pretty busy. It's the busiest station in New South Wales. But in an oh, average day shift, maybe you could get 10 calls. Um, but it just, it varies every day. Um, and you never know what you're going to get, which is exciting as well. Uh, my name's Craig Mashman. I'm the station commander of City of Sydney Fire Station. This job, culture is very important. Um, you are away from your family a lot in this job, so they do become your second family. We have, I have a big range of staff, from one firefighter that was here when I started 27 years ago, to the most junior firefighter who's been here for six weeks. So the, the range of experience I have is great. Um, and I have a lot of guys that specialise in different areas, whether it be aerial, hazmat and rescue as well. Um, and also quite a few USO operators, which means they can be deployed by the UN overseas at any time when required. So the range of expertise is great here. Uh, I don't see my job so much as having to have all that knowledge, but for me particularly it's important that I know how to resource that and who to go to when I need to find out what I need to find out. Um, so one of the great things about um, a career as a firefighter and within the fire and rescue in New South Wales is there are, there are lots of options for, for um, not only career progression, but for, for um, getting a diverse type of work. Um, you can go into um, working in, within a fire station, you can work at rescue stations, like rescue specialised stations, um, and hazardous material stations, which, which are called hazmat stations. Operational communications is another area, which is where I've come into this year. Um, again, you do a, to come in here, you do a six-week full-time course, um, and then you're qualified to, to operate as an commu uh, operational communications operator. Um, you can also go into things like investigations, our, our fire investigations and research unit is, uh, is uh, a really interesting place to work. They're the guys that go in after a fire has occurred and determine um, what happened, how it started. Um, they assist the police um, with their investigations. Um, there's also um, sections like our training section. That's another great place to work. You can um, become an instructor, you can um, teach, recruit firefighters, so the guys that when they first get into the job. Oh, I'd say it's the most rewarding career you could possibly have in my eyes. Um, one word of advice I'd say is probably not to be discouraged by the, the fact that it is so competitive um, and, and I'm sure that, that you know, it, it does have a reputation for being a, quite a hard um, job to get into but that doesn't mean that people shouldn't apply it. it. If anything it means that you should consider it even more because it's obviously a job that lots of people want. Um, and, and there's a reason for that, the, the engagement with the community and the things you get to do on a daily basis are, are incredible. You make friends for life for sure and definitely in here as well, like at your station, it's like a family, it's, it's, the camaraderie is just unbeatable, it's awesome. It's great if you're into teams, uh, it's great if you're into serving community, it's great if you're into helping people and it's great if you're into camaraderie. There's bigger rewards in the, outside the real world to money being close to home. Okay. This job's about serving community. And if you like doing that, like being part of a team, then this is a job for you.